in this lecture we are going to understand the term of tolerance and measurement so first we need to know what tolerance is tolerance refers the total allowable error within an item that means suppose we have got a resistance of 100 ohm now if we using if we are using an ohm meter which gives us a reading of this 100 ohm resistance as 101 ohm then there is one ohm error now when the ohm meter maker is selling this particular ohm meter in market then he needs to declare that this particular ohm meter has 1 by 100 that means 1% of error so whenever we are using this particular ohm meter and measuring any resistance then we can keep in mind this 1% error it can give 1% plus error or 1% minus error both is possible it can give 101 ohm or 99 ohm reading so in both the cases the error range is 1% so suppose we are measuring with this ohm meter a different resistance and after measuring it we got that the resistance the ohm meter has measured is 110 ohm now as the makers has already declared that that particular ohm meter has 1% of error so 1010 divided by that means this is this is the error range so the resistance we have measured using this same ohm meter may be either this ohm or this ohm so this is the range by which the variation is occurring that means this ohm meter has plus minus of one percent of tolerance clear so the tolerance is the range by which the reading of any instrument can vary now as i have said this tolerance is expressed in plus minus term that means both in increasing or decreasing form the result we are getting may be higher or lower compared to the true value now the reason is of this variation of our reading or the particular instrument which is showing this variation for which the makers has to declare this tolerance range for his instrument is due to changes in temperature or humidity whenever there is a variation of temperature or humidity the metallic parts encounters the expansion or contraction for which the output reading also varies sometimes a machine is combination of a lot of small devices so maybe there are one or two devices in a complicated machine are sending improper feedback that is another reason for the variation of the output see a small level of tolerance is applicable in this universe you can't measure an exact value or a true value of any quantity it is impossible there is no such instrument possible because there is always some sort of errors involved in every instrument no one is in this universe is perfect not in fact a human being so what is the actual practice is done we take a lot of different readings or better to say separate readings for any measurement then we have to take the average of those readings it substantially reduces the amount of error of any reading now let us understand this concept of tolerance using an example resistance r1 and r2 have respectively a nominal values of 10 ohm and 5 ohm that means resistance R1 is equal to 10 ohm 
and resistance R2 is equal to 5 ohm. The tolerances of resistance R1 is 5%. That means it is plus minus of 5% tolerance and resistance R2 is 10% tolerance. That means the value we get from measuring this 10 ohm and 5 ohm resistance may be varied between 5% and 10%. See, 10 ohm and 5 ohm are the true values and what we measure by using ohm meter or any other instrument is after including this 5% and 10% tolerance or variation. Then what is the range of values of the parallel combination of R1 and R2? So solving this kind of problem, first we need to determine what is the range of R1 and R2 we will get after our measurement. So as the R1 has 5% tolerance according to question, that means the value of R1 would be plus minus 10 plus plus minus 10 into 5 by 100 that means 10 plus minus 0.5 ohm that is equal to 10.5 or 9.5 ohm because we are simultaneously adding and subtracting 0.5 ohm from 10 ohm similarly we get for R2 like this 5.5 ohm or 4.5 ohm now for equivalent resistance determination we know R equivalent for parallel combination of R1 and R2 is equal to R1 R2 by R1 plus R2. So in first case we have to take the higher range value by tolerance considering the 5% and 10%. So higher range value of R1 is equal to 10.5 ohm and for R2 it is 5.5 ohm so by simply putting these values we get 3.61 ohm again putting the lower range values of R1 and R2 we get 3.05 ohm so we are getting a range of 3.61 ohm to 3.05 ohm range if we consider the tolerance of 5% of 10% of resistance R1 and R2 respectively. So if we consider these tolerances and determine a parallel resistance equivalent of these two resistances, then we will get a range between this. So I think this concept is clear to you. If you have any doubt, then mention in the comment section below. Thank you.